For the last two hours, I've been sitting here just thinking about what, what I just, what I did, what I. Uh, hashtag RT DL Real Talk Demon Again. I gotta get some energy and and bring this and bring this to life. All right, that's better. Let's start again. Hashtag RT Deal Real Talk Devin Legaspi. I was having a normal conversation, a normal conversation, but I don't know what happened or what 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 topic got brought up, but it ended up being a total bitch session about someone, about someone that we don't even see that often, and we just bagged him out. Instant regret. For me, I feel that you should treat people the way that you would like to be treated. It, it's for your personal mental health, for your mental resilience. I feel if you put your best foot forward, best foot forward every single time, that the negative actions and the negative words from other people will be like water off a duck's back. Because of your mental resilience, it is like a shield of goodness. And every time these negative people come at you, you just, you just, it just bounces straight off you. The words, the actions, you don't even see it. You're so focused on your end goal, you don't even see this kind of stuff. You know the person that I'm talking about? The person that worries about other people's business more than their own. The icing on the cake is, they express their opinion about other people's business and they want other people to know their opinion about other people's business. Opinions are like assholes. Everyone, everyone has one, right? And that's fair, but you don't need to let everyone know your opinion about someone else's business. They never ever push people to where they go towards their goals. They'd rather bring them down to their level. It's the crab analogy. Every time I see a negative person, I see a crab. Have you ever seen a bucket of crabs? You don't see crabs pushing, pushing one crab up to the edge so they can jump over and succeed. No, you see them climbing over each other. If you see someone nearly getting to the top, they'll bring them down. I usually walk away from these conversations. I just make them an excuse to not be around that negative, negative space, that negative world, because there's no benefit. There's no benefit. And I honestly felt so, so bad after the conversation. I started thinking about what what was the phone call all about? I, I, I started thinking about, there was, no, there was no positives whatsoever. Like I wasted time, there was no value, right? Because I felt terrible, I had no motivation. I had no motivation to do anything like afterwards or for the rest of that day. As I said, I lost my focus and I stepped backwards, away, away from my, my end game. I felt very, very drained. It's like a superhero. My kryptonite was that conversation, that negative, bitchy, awful conversation where you talk behind people's back and they're not there to defend themselves. And I honestly, I felt drained. I felt like someone had ran over me with a bus. I was so, I felt the guilt was too much. And I am, I just had to get off my chest. And it, yeah, it's, It takes a lot of energy to be negative. Just a simple fact, just a, just a fact, just a fact for you guys. It takes more muscles to, to frown than it does to smile. Just a little fact, that's a bonus. That's a bonus for you guys out there. This is a little reminder to say that I'm not there yet. This is a lesson, a lesson learned that I have to constantly keep working at it. Keep working towards my end goal. This, is to let me know to always put your best foot forward. A man that's done his best. That's it. Pansit.